As the German army retreated in Tunisia, it left behind landmines, booby traps, and saboteurs. This is a saboteur, named Haka Ahmed, age 27, single, nationality Arab, formerly served in the French army. This is a sabotage school, location a secluded beach close to La Massa. Curriculum, a seven-day course in explosives, postgraduate work for bright students. The beautiful villa was bait for poor Arabs. This is a sabotage kit. Similar chests were buried near airfields throughout Tunisia. Some contained explosives of British make. They have been traced to the compact kits of explosives dropped over occupied Europe for sabotage against Germany. The Germans modified them into diabolically clever devices for aircraft sabotage. They're examining an altitude bomb, a rubber tube filled with plastic explosives. One end of the tube has a one ounce block of TNT with a cavity for the detonator. The lower case contains a battery and negative contact. The upper case houses a bellows spring and positive contact. This bomb is safe and easy to handle. The saboteur can carry it in his pocket. He just opens an inspection hatch in the wing or fuselage and slips in the bomb. When the plane climbs to a given altitude, the air pressure decreases and allows the bellows to expand, completing an electric circuit which detonates the bomb. Saboteur number one was paid an initial 100,000 francs plus 5,000 francs a month. Supplied with two two-way radio sets, he reported to German headquarters in Italy. This is an explosive block, magnetic type, with a time fuse good up to 30 hours. It contains about eight ounces of plastic explosive. Into the cavity is inserted an electric blasting cap, a safety fuse, or a chemical delay device. Notice the magnetic blocks at the corners. The gentleman who is obliging enough to explain the workings of the bomb happens to be the second captured saboteur. Name? Ben Sheikh Mohammed, nationality, Arab, married, has three children. Disclaims any knowledge of saboteur number one. Spent only one day in the German sabotage school at La Massa. Evidently a precocious student. Stated that the Germans gave him 30,000 francs. Denied any arrangements for further pay or future contacts. After the fall of Tunis, he got cold feet and fled to Algeria where he was captured. The magnetic blocks at the corners can be attached instantly to any ferrous metal surface and will not be jarred loose at takeoff. The saboteur crushes the end of the delay igniter pin, which breaks a little vial containing acid. At a given time, it will set off the detonator. The explosion can crack the engine block or sever all the wiring and connections inside the nose, as well as blow a hole clear through the armor plate on the plane. A wrecked German fighter was used for the demonstration. It was arranged by collaboration between American counterintelligence, ordnance section of the Second Air Service Command, and French military intelligence, who captured these two saboteurs. For sabotage on the ground, the kit provides a short cord detonator. There is also a roll of Primacord. Primacord is a German high explosive burning at the rate of 29,000 feet a second. With this handy gadget, the detonator is crimped into the end of the fuse. The crimper is only one of many items in the kit, making work easy for the novice saboteur. The explosive primer cord is wrapped around the rear end of the fuselage. Several turns are taken. The safety fuse and detonator are taped to the end of the primer cord. The fuse end is kept away from the highly explosive cord when the fuse is tucked under. While the fuse is burning, the saboteur can make his getaway.
Lieutenant Clifford of 12th Bomber Ordnance shows how the almost severed fuselage follows the line of the explosive prima cord. A useful little device is this Triton block. If a railroad catches the saboteur's eye, he just places the igniter on a rail simulated by this pipe. A locomotive will set it off, derailing the train. Extra portions of plastic explosive wrapped in wax paper can be molded into any desired form for special needs. Plastic explosive is easy to handle and leaves no dangerous explosive dust in the air made to order for the beginner. Like a little boy with a chemical set, the saboteur can while away a rainy Sunday afternoon cooking up new stunts. He can hook together custom tailored bombs to fit special occasions using these delayed action bombs. Fuse igniters. Rolls of safety fuse. All at hand. During the filming of this record, the saboteurs became so interested in acting that they kept adding more and more evidence against themselves, revealing information of value. As a result of their disclosures, 30 native agents were captured in this area alone. In addition, German saboteurs were dropped in a group by parachute during a diversionary air raid on Tunis. Others were landed from light German surface craft. But the greatest menace to our air bases was the native saboteur who was most destructive and hardest to expose. Employed as a laborer on the airfield, he had easier access to the planes. When no one was looking, it was a simple job to slip a bomb into an inspection hatch. Time to explode at the right moment, after the plane took off. And it might never be known just what struck a plane down in flight. But once caught, the Army knows how to terminate the career of the saboteur.